Hello viewers, I welcome you all to your own channel Korubidas the Educator. Those who are new to this channel, please subscribe the channel to get the latest CBSC updates and many other educational interesting videos. So today's video is about the basic maths and standard maths. As you know that CBSC has introduced basic maths and standard maths, uh, the students will have to select from basic maths and standard maths in class 9. But that find it very difficult uh, to choose which one to choose, whether basic or standard. Because they do not know the difference between the basic maths and standard maths. So that is why today's video is on that. So I am going to clear all your doubts. Please do not skip the video in middle so that you do not miss any important points. Basic uh, level question papers and standard level question paper are based on the same syllabus that NCRT book. Portion is same for both the basic and standard. But what is the difference here? The standard level paper will be little bit tougher than the basic level paper. And in basic question paper, what we have observed means all the question students they get from the textbook itself. But in standard question paper, 10% or 15% questions they get from outside. That means standard level paper is little bit tougher than the basic level paper. But as the portion is same for both, so it is better, I suggest it is better to go for standard level paper. Now before it was like this, those who opt for basic maths, they were not allowed to take mathematics in class 11 as a subject. But now, it, now again CBSC has changed that those who go for basic maths also, they also can uh, take mathematics but it's not pure mathematics, they can go for applied mathematics in class 11. Now um, the difference between applied mathematics and the pure mathematics, for pure mathematics code is 041 and for applied mathematics code is 241. So the difference between these two subjects it is the, that means the existing mathematics that is 041 for senior secondary is a course meant for the students to pursue pure mathematics that means physical sciences engineering at university level. However, there are many students who want to learn mathematics which is useful for better performance in their selected subjects they can go for applied mathematics and applied mathematics is meant for those students and the curriculum focuses on the application of mathematics in our day-to-day -day life. Now the main motto behind introducing the applied mathematics uh, is because of according to CBSC circular the objective behind introducing the applied mathematics is to develop an understanding of basic mathematical and statistical tools and their applications in the field of commerce, business, finance, economics and social sciences to model real world experiences problems into mathematical expressions using numerical, algebraic, graphical representation and make sense from the data by organizing representing interpreting analyzing it that is the main motto so now it's a good news for the students those who go for basic maths <clears throat> so mainly you have come to know the difference between the pure maths and the applied mathematics applied mathematics where the application of mathematics will be there mainly and it will be used in our day-to-day -day life so if you go for basic maths also and afterwards if you want to um, take maths as a subject you cannot take pure maths but you can take applied mathematics in class 11 which is also going to help you in your future life. Now as you have come to know if you take basic maths in class 10 also then also you can uh, take applied mathematics in class 11. 
so if you take applied uh, applied mathematics in class 11 so many opportunities are there that after that you can go for educational sector then banking and finance industry commerce industry then research and development statistics and accountancy related areas then civil services then inventory management then insurance agency so many opportunities are there if you go take applied mathematics also okay but if you want to go to engineering means where pure mathematics is used in that case you have to take standard mathematics in class 10 but if you are not at all interested in maths somehow uh, you want to get pass mark in class 10 in maths then i suggest you to go for basic mathematics in class 10. now i think all your doubts are clear uh, regarding basic and standard maths and the students those who are studying in class 8 also should watch this video because they should know the difference between basic and standard maths so that while choosing between basic and standard maths they don't face any difficulty and lastly lastly i want to give you one news as already cbsc has finished uh, term one exam uh, for class 10 and class 12 still some subjects are left to finish so term one result means correction of the omr sheets are going on according to the circular and cbsc class 10 and 12 term one result will be declared uh, likely to be declared in the month of january that is the good news for you all and all of you get ready for your term two exam and term two exam will held in the month of march and or april 1st so accordingly time is very less so you have to prepare well for that exam also so if you like the video please like share and subscribe and press the bell icon to get the latest update till then bye bye take care and keep